so much to read the first intro oh done with the intro by the way i was reading why do we need containers by open source pretty sick book okay so what's up guys welcome back they will be making a connection to our raspberry pi from our smartphone via cloud you can be in any part of the world and can still control your pi in your home whether you might be using it for home automation monitoring system or whatsoever be the desired task possibilities are endless so to do this let's boot into our pi and configure it that way so you can do anything from anywhere anywhere yes it just got shut off okay so here i am in raspbian i'm using raspbian stretch 9.4 you can see your version by typing lsb underscore release space hyphen a with this version vnc server is installed by default but you can still install it manually by typing in these commands and uh, though it is uh, installed previously beforehand on the raspberry pi stretch version but you need to enable that because it's disabled by default so just go to preferences raspberry pi configuration and under interfaces tab you'll find vnc just hit on enable you just need to turn it on and press on ok and then you'll see a uh, vnc sign on the top right corner just click on that and the vnc server main page will come under this line you'll see a sign in option if you're not then go to options and go to licensing just hit on sign in to your real vnc account there and click on next here you need to enter your credentials if you have an account if you don't just sign up again sign up online and click on ok i will not do that because i have already done you can see ashish team and my ip address is also there if i want to connect through lan so our work is done here all right into the smartphone just to ensure that i am operating on the mobile data and opening up the VNC viewer app I installed already. Swipe from the right hand side, click on sign in, enter your credentials. And I'm logged in, you can see my email ID. Actually you cannot. You can see Ashi's team and uh, Raspberry Pi already there. Just clicking on that and it says connecting. Connecting real VNC services. Sending connection request searching network for VNC server and asking for the password I'll enter my password there preparing desktop and we're logged in we can see the GUI complete GUI what we left on the Raspberry Pi directly and just to show you I'm still on my Android everything's there each and every just you can do it anything you can do any of the operation you were doing live on your system through the phone and just to show you can set the password for this to unix password or vnc password i prefer it to be unix password so full functionality in your hand in any part of the world you might be in you can control all of the components directly through your smartphone via cloud whatever you could, could have done with the raspberry pi in your hand either it can be watering your plants monitoring pets or uh, it might be anything Okay, I hope this video proved something good to you. If it did, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Facing any problems? Comment down below fast. I'll see you in the next one.